Psalm 10, David wrote these words, O Lord, why do you stand so far away? Why do you hide when I'm in trouble? I wish I could stand here and say that I haven't prayed that prayer, but there have been seasons. The prophet Elijah went through a time like this, and you would think if anyone was above dealing with depression, it would be Elijah. But in 1 Kings 19, we find him struggling with his faith and his mental and physical condition. Was it logical for him to feel this way? No, depression rarely is. It's as much a physical issue as it is a spiritual one. It robs you of the ability to hope, and it makes life seem pointless. It was in that moment that Elijah even prayed for death in a very revealing prayer. He finds himself hiding in a cave and waiting for God to pass by. In this moment, three things happened. First, a strong wind blew and caused the rocks of the mountain to break apart. Then an earthquake, then a fire. I'm sure in each of those moments, Elijah was thinking, this is it. This is what I prayed for and this is how I'm gonna die. But it said that God was not in the wind, the earthquake or the fire. God was in the still small voice. And why I find that so significant is because you can only hear a whisper if someone is close by. It doesn't make up in volume to cover distance. And here's my point. I think sometimes we're so distracted by the big outcome we envision that we forget to realize that God is with us in the cave. He said that he would never leave us or forsake us. We aren't finding God because we aren't really looking for him. We're looking for the rescue instead of the rescuer. We're looking for the miracle instead of the miracle maker. So the next time you feel alone, remember that our God is the God on the mountain and he's God in the valley. Remember to look for him in the moment you're in, not the future you wish for in your mind. And hold on to the promises found in Psalm 34. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time.